Hello world, Lady Mega Lucario here, and I'm buzzing after the new announcement. To start off with, I'll mention that the Poke Pelago, which was a blessing for competitive trainers, should hopefully be returning to Sword and Shield as Poke jobs. If it works like the Pelago, it will allow trainers to send their Pokemon for EV training, increase friendship levels, and provide many other vital services and items. However, the information on this feature is vague at the current time, so I'll give you more as I get it. This region's Pikachu has been announced and I'm highly amused. More Pico is a cutie pie electric dark Pokemon that has the ability Hunger Switch, which changes More Pico's form every turn. More Pico constantly generates electricity, which consumes energy. If it gets too hungry, it gets hangry, which is something I'm sure most of us can appreciate. Then it changes forms, going from an adorable little Pikachu slash Dedenne looking thing to a black and purple gremlin of Vermont with red eyes and a scowl. Galar is the UK of the Pokemon world, and the real world's version of electricity is AC or alternating color. So this probably inspired the changes in more Pico. More Pico appears to be the signature Pokemon of one of our rivals. Marnie is another Pokemon trainer who is competing in the Galar region and wishes to become the champion. We don't know much about her, but her punk style is pretty cool. She apparently has her own reasons for wanting to be champion, but those haven't been disclosed yet. And she has a rampant fan base in the form of Team Yell. Team Yell are literally football slash soccer hooligans who have become fans of Marnie's calm and calculated tactics and want to ensure she is the one who becomes champion. Marnie is shown to tell them to stop and they do appear to listen, so the likelihood is that she doesn't approve their shenanigans. I suspect it, that's because her legitimacy as champion is in question if Team Yell stop all her opponents getting to the league finals. I already hate Team Yell and it's not because they're like Team Skull but more obnoxious and it's not because they're standing in my way. I hate them because they have those dark Double horned Vuvu Zaylas and anyone who likes football, and even those who probably don't hate Vuvu Zaylas purely because of the World Cup a few years ago, where it was two weeks of endless. <laughs> there is something cool about Team Yell though, and that's one of their Pokemon. No, they haven't painted Zigzagoon funny colours. This is its Galarian form. That's right. Regional variants are a thing again, and it makes certain Pokemon really interesting. For example, I now kind of want to train a Zigzagoon, because its new dark normal typing makes it more interesting, even if it gives it a quad weakness to fighting. Plus, it looks like it's a fan of the band Kiss, which I find highly amusing. Zigzagoon continues in its new colouring and typing into its evolution, Linoon, and even does something a little special in Galar. We have a regional evolution. This system, which was first introduced in Sinnoh, has returns meaning that Galarian Lanoon evolves into this new brute of a punk Pokemon, Obstagoon. Obstagoon's new obstruct move allows it to block moves before counter-attacking. It's not certain if that means blocking all the damage like a Protect, or whether it does something like negate half the damage. That's something we need further information on. According to what we have, the Galarian form is the oldest branch of the Zigzagoon line, and Obstagoon was an evolution developed because of the harsh environment of Galar and the competition with others of its species, which I find fascinating. This means that it was probably either imported into other regions or snuck on ships, or a trainer was breeding them and released a load into the wild, and a lack of competition just meant they would never needed to evolve to their full potential. The zigzag line aren't the only regional variants we've been introduced to though. Meet Galarian Weezing. This version of an old favourite Team Rocket apparently consumes polluted air and poisonous gases and lets out purified air from the smokestacks on top of its head. It honestly looks like a bearded and moustached man wearing a top hat and I kinda love it. Its new poison fairy typing makes for an interesting and new combination, and while we know it has levitate, there's a potential for another ability. Not that we know that ability is there, I'm guessing it's a new one that the Pokemon company aren't ready to announce yet. Finally, we have Bead. Here's another rival of yours. He's endorsed by Chairman Rose, the very man who runs the Galar League. From Bede's aptitude in the clips we have, he apparently doesn't have time for you and quite frankly looks like he might be a bit of a git. While he has been endorsed by Chairman Rose, he apparently has his own reasons for wanting to be champion, just like Marnie, and I'm half expecting those reasons to be something like controlling the Galar region. You know what would be great? If... Following in the tradition of Giovanni running Team Rocket right under the league's noses, Bede was in fact wanting to be champion to allow his own evil team, or the team he belonged to, to take control of Galar. It would make for an interesting plot and there could be loads of hints around the Team Yell stuff. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And that seems to be the motto of this announcement. Here's some information, it's not a huge amount, but now you get to keep guessing until the next one. 
I have to say that the more I see of Galar, the more I'm liking it, and I can even forget the regional Dex issue, since Pokemon Home won't be out until next year, and we're getting so much in this game to tide us over. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll see you all soon. This is Lady Mega Lucario, signing out.